So now we've actually looked at naming the bones and the areas of the bones, we're actually going to look at the joints of the pelvis now. Um, and there are four main joints that we need to be um, looking at. Um, and these are, you can probably identify them yourself. So this is the joint here, um, which is the symphysis pubis. Um, that's actually a joint. Um, it's the joint between the um, ilium and the sacrum and then the sacrum and the coccyx. So we've got two um, between the sacrum and the ilium, one between the sacrum and the coccyx, and one between the two symphysis pubises um, to make the pubic bone. So the one at the front is the symphysis pubis, um, and this is actually a pad of cartilage. Um, and cartilage is um, a really fibrous material that joins bones, and it doesn't allow very much movement. Um, and we know in a non-pregnant woman, the gap between the two pubic bones is usually about four to five millimetres. But once a woman started releasing progesterone and relaxing in pregnancy, it allows um, this joint in particular to actually um, move apart a little bit to increase the pelvic out inlet and outlet, really. Um, and um, yeah, so that's the pubic symphysis pubis. Um, and then if we look towards the back end of the, um, the bony structures, we've got two sacroiliac joints. So between the sacrum and the ilium, we've got a sacroiliac joint. And this joint here is a, um, it's quite a strong joint and it's filled with some, it's a fluid filled joint um, and they call them synovial joints. Um, and these joints allow a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more movement which is quite useful during childbirth. So we've got one symphysis pubis, two sacroiliac joints and then the, finally we've got, if we look at the back here, we've got the um, sacrococcygeal joint, so say between the sacrum and the coccyx um, and again this is a synovial um, fluid filled joint which does a allow a little bit of movement and we know that again the hormones progesterone and relaxin works on these um, joints as well and it actually allows the sacrum quite a bit of flexibility during the childbirth process so that in total the inlet and the outlet of the pelvis can increase greatly during uh, to allow the baby to pass through or the fetus to pass through during normal childbirth.